And welcome back. June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and our dear friend and NBC News special anchor Maria Shriver is joining us to share some incredible new information. Hi, good morning. That's right, Maria announcing. Hey, good morning, Maria. You are announcing the opening of the Women's Alzheimer's Movement Prevention Center at the Cleveland Clinic's Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas. The center, the first of its kind in our country. Uh, good morning, Maria. And, and first of all, before we get started uh, talking about uh, the Alzheimer's Center, we want to send our condolences to you and your family on Thank the passing God. of uh, Jean Kennedy Smith, who uh, left us yesterday at the age of 92. Thank you so much. She was an extraordinary woman, had a great career uh, on behalf of this country as ambassador to Ireland, promoting peace there, and also started very special arts uh, for people with intellectual disabilities. So uh, I take solace in the fact that she is joining every other member of her family up in heaven. So mm. it's nice for her. Uh. That's wonderful. Uh, well, we also want to talk about something else that's wonderful. You, you creating this this center, which was your your brainchild. What what sparked yeah. this uh, to to create not just a, a a center for Alzheimer's, but a female center? Because you you, you have pointed out that it discriminates against women. Uh, so so give well, us a I sense of this. Yeah, I'm super, super excited. This is a huge milestone in the Alzheimer's prevention movement. Women are disproportionately impacted by Alzheimer's. Two thirds of all those who get Alzheimer's are women, disproportionately also women of color. And so this is the very first center that is devoted to women, staffed by women, focused on how women processed Alzheimer's. And I'm super excited because women do differently on tests, cognitive tests. They have different uh, ways that they process stress. They go through perimenopause, menopause. So this is a center that really is reaching out to women who are concerned about Alzheimer's, who are concerned about their own brain health, who might have a gene uh, that predisposes them to Alzheimer's, or who are just worried about it. And I'm super excited that this will be a really a landmark center in the fight against Alzheimer's. And Maria, I thought this was interesting because through your movement, you found that up to one third of all Alzheimer's cases are preventable. I'd never heard that before. Well, there is a lot of research, Dylan, about lifestyle when it comes to Alzheimer's, how we live our lives impacts our brain health. So the women's Alzheimer's movement, which we started in response to the fact that we don't really know why women are predisposed to Alzheimer's, stresses exercise, stresses sleep, stresses, stresses diet, stresses meditation. We now know that there are a lot of lifestyle factors that can improve brain health today. So it's never too late to start thinking about your brain health. It's never too late to start adjusting your diet and making it one that is more supportive of your brain health. Exercise is critical to keeping your brain active. So is social engagement. So, so is keeping uh, your mind, your brain active, learning new things. So lifestyle, how we live, whether we're sedentary, whether we are prone to depression, whether we have hypertension, all of these other kind of health risks are risks for Alzheimer's. So my hope is that women from around the country, really around the world, will come to this center, will find out their numbers, will learn about their own brain health, will learn about their bodies, will be aware of what risk factors they may have that might put them on the path towards Alzheimer's, and they may slow down that disease. So, so Maria, one of the things that sets this center apart and this clinic is that it's powered by philanthropy. How come? Uh-oh. Uh, I, th uh -oh. I think we may have, I think we may have, can you hear us, Maria? I can hear you perfectly. I uh, may be blurry, but I got to oh, okay, focus. Great. <laughs> okay, really quickly, really quickly, uh, why, why is this so special that it's powered by philanthropy? Well, because it's not covered by insurance. So we're trying to, we're the Women's Alzheimer's Movement and the Ruvo Center Cleveland Clinic, we're funding this right now because prevention is so critical to our message. So 
we're raising the money and our hope is one day it will be covered, but right now it's not. So we're raising the money. We're reaching out to women saying, come here, talk about prevention, think about your brain health. You can make a difference today. You have the power to make a difference. Well, Maria, thank you so much as always. And real quick, congratulations to your son, Christopher, for graduating from the University of Michigan oh. last week. Must I know I saw one. Al talking about his daughter. I'm so proud of Christopher Go Blue. Um, I think it's a bittersweet. You know, everybody graduated on Zoom instead of in the big house. But I think he, you know, the, I told him the class of 2020 is going to go down in history. So it's a very unique and special class. It certainly is. Maria, always nice to see you. Thank you so much. And for more information about the center, log on to thirdhourtoday.com and be sure to also head to our Third Hour Today Instagram page this afternoon for something else. It's another edition of Roker's Roll Call. That's right, Dylan. We're really happy. We're going to be talking with funny guy David Keckner, uh, who's going to be talking about uh, the big slick in Kansas City and a very talented couple, Ellen's resident DJ, Twitch Boss, and his wife, dancer Allison Holker. That's at 3 p.m. Eastern, live on our Instagram page.